Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, call me Biz, Bert Crusher, the machine. All right, uh, this is one y'all have requested a lot, a lot. I know a little bit about this guy. The first time I seen him was on Vlad TV. And he was telling this Will Smith story that was a little sus. But anyways, <laughs> look, if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know you're here, all right? No more ghost watching in 2024. And of course, I do appreciate y'all. Look, let's go ahead and watch. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia. Here's how it happened. Why is your shirt off, though? I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. I was there uh, like seven years. I was there th in most of the 90s. Damn. <laughs> I, I was in college longer than grunge music was around. Why is your shirt off, though? <laughs> so, this is how bad of a student I was. One time, I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish. And it took three classes before I realized, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> so I got up to leave. The teacher, who was hot, he definitely worked out. I'm kidding. I don't know. It was a girl. It was a girl. And she was hot. She still is hot. She stopped me. She goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So if you sit back down, you don't have to do anything all semester, and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, Strasvutia, bitches, I'm back. <laughs> that sounds unbelievable. So I took Russian one, two, three, and four, never learned a word. <laughs> Think about what I'm saying. I took two years of a language, took four semesters of my college career, four, four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like... <laughs> <laughs> the end of Russian 4, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, we're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor. I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I can't really speak, read, write, or understand the language, right? She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> you got to remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. Do you have any idea what it's like to take a test and make up hieroglyphics? <laughs> and the answer is star circle hashtag shoe. Why is your shirt off? She goes, it doesn't matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, you will get a minor. And I was like, that's all you had to say. Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. What? It's a different, it was different, minor, obviously. Learned that the hard way. <laughs> Don't say So that. we went to Russia in 1995. <laughs> this is when the mob ran everything, and they told us that our very first night. They sat the whole class down, they're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. In exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> The word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are gonna live with us. They're gonna walk you to class. They're gonna walk you back from class. They're gonna take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips. Do not speak to them. They're in the mafia. Do not look at them. Do not engage them. Do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're gonna be my best fucking friends. <laughs> so the first night I grab a bottle of vodka and a six pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I <clears> plan a sentence. I was gonna say, Strasvutsia, Menyasavud Bert, Ochimbriatna, Yarabota, you Koshka. Uh, uh. <laughs> Does anyone speak Russian in here? No. I love that someone says no. No. I did a head count earlier. It doesn't look like it. I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name's Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work pussy. <laughs> kind of. It really means I work with cats. I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? 
uh, it doesn't matter because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. <laughs> and she just pants. stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, stole. I fucking panicked. And everything I had planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> and he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? <laughs> I was like, I'm the machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking and just goes, stop. <laughs> tell them what you said. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine. <laughs> They looked at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it, he's the machine! <laughs> and I became the machine, and these guys loved me. Yes. The, you gotta realize, though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! <laughs> and I fuck cats. <laughs> <laughs> so we did everything together we uh, like the guy that answered the door his name was Igor he was like my best friend we did everything together we ran a pool hall scam we stole a boat <laughs> it was literally the best summer of my life stole a boat and then one day the whole class is taking a trip to Moscow it's an overnight train trip and I say to Igor I go this is gonna be a blast we gotta be in the same cabin and he goes I can't go I said, why not? And he goes, different mafia runs train, different mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, hold on. What's that mean for me? And he goes, don't worry. I set up banditi. I tell them about you. They'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> Igor and Igor is wild. And he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> The big ear of the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> he grabs me and he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> we go to first class and it is pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in. <laughs> Rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt, places him on my lap and goes, this is a present for the machine. <laughs> it would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. Oh, that because I'm 22 years old <laughs> thinking, huh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. <laughs> <laughs> we drink all the booze in an hour and Big Igor stands up and he goes, machine, we go to the bar cart to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it, I'm in the mob, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> We roll into the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> Just smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh, someone's here, okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me, and in Russian he says, machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian, in Russian. And I understood him. For a second I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. That's how you learn. <laughs> I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. <laughs> Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, Sir, cheese, I got it. Give me another one. And he's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, Huh? <laughs> he goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. <laughs> and I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. Why is your shirt on, though? <laughs> I grab the money, walk out. Two of my classmates see me, and they're like, you're in so much trouble. Go back to our first class cabin, and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip, she was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence. Just <laughs> liberal arts, what a joke. This shit is over. You're done, you're done. Stand up right now, you, you stand up. 
Stand, how dare, how, you're done. Stand up. And Big Igor looks at me confused, then smiles, takes a big sip of vodka, spits it in her eyes and goes, no one talks to the machine like that. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Shuts the door in her face and goes, fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> Don't worry, machine, when it gets dark, we have good time. I'm like, what the Boys. fuck are we doing when it gets dark? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Reaches into his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, we're robbing the whole fucking train. I'm a good person. I don't cheat on, I don't right. cheat on, this is why, I, let me tell you, I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning, our whole family was in bed, the dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling and it was pure, it was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever wanna screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's, life's about. And they got up to make cho chocolate chip pancakes and I laid in bed and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me or I think she's flirting with me and it seems like it could go further, I'm just gonna cock block myself. I'm just gonna look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! <laughs> now, I may be wrong. She may not be hitting on me. <laughs> she may throw a drink in my face, slap me, or I may be right. I, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. Why so when presented the opportunity, though? I thought I'd be like, not me. I'm gonna go back and work on my verbs. <laughs> but apparently when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it, let's start with my class. <laughs> so we robbed them first while they slept, if that makes it better. And then we robbed the whole train. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. And then we drank all night long, all night long, like literally until six in the morning, top five drunkest I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at 6 a.m., I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk, you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. <laughs> train stops, sun's up, I'm hammered, door opens, same teacher, not mad. Curious, right? Yeah. They all have she it looks up. me in the eyes, smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform, my whole class is standing there with a cop, talking. They're upset. They've been robbed. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they've never heard snitches get stitches. <laughs> Big Igor sees this, and it's completely unfazed. He's like, oh, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, well, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop, who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around and goes, fuck you. We fuck you in the mouth. We fuck you in the ass. We, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit. <laughs> Now the cop is just staring at me and I hear him bark out, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. <laughs> it is a come to Jesus moment where you know you fucked up. All I thought as I walked to the cop, who's standing in front of the class, I just robbed. Next to the gangster, I robbed them with, my only thought was, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. <laughs> my second junior year. And the gulag it's taking wild. hot dicks to the throat. <laughs> I get five steps from the cop who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, So, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> nice. Tonight, you party with us. I was like, what? He's like, tonight, you party with us, yes? And I looked at him, and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette, and he goes, no. Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... It's a cool story. It's an entertaining story. I just don't find this guy funny. I don't know why. But like, it's cool. Like, you know, it's chuckle. Like, he doesn't give me, like, the belly laugh. But that is an epic story. 
um, if it's true. And, and why is your shirt off? Like, I, I don't understand that part. Maybe I missed something during the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, it's just not funny, man. Like, if, if y'all watch me, I, I love natural comedians. Like, people who are just naturally funny. Like, he doesn't seem funny. Uh, it sounds like he rehearsed this story so many times. He's like one of these dudes that, like, when they're at a party, they got to do the most. Like, the, the most extra shit just to, like, get the laughs when a normal story would have done it, you know? It's it just the, the guy that's got to out epic the epic people of course i'm just saying that shit i, I don't know this guy uh I, I did hear his will smith story i thought that was hilarious especially now the stuff that we hearing about will smith um but yeah he's cool man he's cool i i wouldn't i don't think he's a funny comedian i'll be honest with you i, I think the story is a good story but i don't think he's funny because the way he delivered it wasn't even all that great but that's just me man that's just me y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below and look if you have funnier stuff let me know but according to y'all this was his best so if this is his best i don't even know but um uh yo doesn't he have a um he has a a, a show with tom segura right and Tom is hilarious. Tom Segura is, is 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 funny. He should be more like that guy. Anyways, I'll see y'all the next one. And guess what? You better be the peace.